We have talked about hacking, and we have talked about how hacking in the cybersecurity sense is a bad thing. But thankfully, there is a discipline, and we, oh, we love it. It's ethical hacking. It's using hacking skills, but for good. How is this possible? Well, we are a white hat hacker, and we are going to be hired by an organization to be constantly seeking out vulnerabilities, to be constantly keeping up with how black hats are attacking us. What are the vulnerabilities they're looking for? What are the types of attacks they are performing? We're going to be constantly applying our networking and our system skills. And this means that we'll really be students of the communications between systems and those systems themselves. And we're going to be giving you in this ultimate guide a lot of the information that you would need about networking and systems to give you a huge head start in this environment. This is one of the reasons why this ultimate guide is such a huge seller here at Udemy. Now, we're going to be taking a look at the exact same tools and using the same tools as Black Hats do. And you'll hear me mention it more than once. We always need to stay ethical. And this means we can't violate any of the guidelines our organization may have put forth against using these tools. Think about it. Maybe you're in the headquarters of your enterprise where you're hired as a white hat hacker, and that's not your job title. It's more like cybersecurity analyst level one. So you're a cybersecurity analyst level one, and you are working for the organization, and you're at the headquarters location, and you trigger a whole bunch of security alarms because you're experimenting with one of the Black Hat tools. And this would be unethical for you to do because it violates the security policy in place at your organization. So we're going to be very careful as white hat hackers to make sure that we are performing our responsibilities, but within a defined scope and that we'll be adhering to the limitations of what we can do. And in fact, we'll be elaborating on that coming up. Ethical hacking is so great because it allows us to understand the attackers. We have to know thy enemy if we are to properly protect ourselves. We need to know who they are, what their motivations are, what their techniques are going to be, what their tactics, what their procedures will be like. So we need to really study them and know their tools and know their procedures so that we can make it well worth our salary for an organization to help protect their systems by using the very best and most appropriate security controls. Now, as a white hat hacker, you're constantly answering questions for your organization like, what can potential adversaries see? What can they do against visible resources? And when they do attack, are they visible? Can we actually see and trace their attacks? It is also critical that we be able to explain to the organization how they're going to be able to see attackers when they do show up. So we're going to be helping them set up sophisticated systems, maybe even SIMS, and that is spelled S-I-E-M, which is going to be a very sophisticated management platform for correlating and being able to analyze security events that have happened in our environment. SIM is a great, great concept that you need to be aware of. Notice this is an incredibly exciting field and notice that this is a field that's going to challenge us because we are going to be consistently and constantly studying the attacks that are now possible 
in an ever-changing technological landscape.